Welcome to Dog World TV. This weekend at a slightly damp as per usual Blackpool Championship Dog Show and joined today by Best in Show Judge this weekend, Mike Gadsby. That's right, thank you. Got to be looking looking forward to it. Well, it's always, you know, nice to judge the, but you've only got seven dogs, dogs to judge, so it should be reasonably simple. Yeah, and in theory, it should be the best best of the best. Well, hopefully, yeah. Um, now, you're, you're, not, uh, you're not unfamiliar with controversy, but these questions sh shouldn't be controversial at all. No. Um, we'll, we'll start from the top. Uh, what's your affix and where did it come from? Afterglow is my affix, and whilst there's two stories about the prefix. There's the story that's true, and there's the story that I heard somebody say and, and you thought prefer. I wish. I pre so the story, the story that's that I prefer is that um, it's the feeling you have after certain intimate relations. Right. I like that, but that's not true. It's a Genesis song, and I like the name of it. So Fair enough. That's okay. the truth. It's a bit boring, isn't it? Uh, uh, well, it is what it is. You know. It's, it seems to go well with anything you anything you put it in front of. Um, what's your favourite word? Um, well, two words: apple crumble. <laughs> okay. Uh, and your least favourite word? Um, nice. <laughs> what turns you on? Great dogs. What turns you off? Bad judging. Um, favourite TV program? Um, the Good Wife. Uh, what profession, other than your own, would you like to do? Um, oh God, that's quite a difficult one. I'd like to... I always fancied being a vet. Mm. I'd like to have been a vet, but then actually I don't know whether I'd like to have dealt with the general public, so perhaps a vet who did things behind the scenes <laughs> rather than dealing with those people. What wouldn't you like to do then? What, what we, profession wouldn't you like to do? Uh, Politician. <laughs> really? <laughs> I don't think I'd be very good at it. Well, you speak your mind, surely that's, that's a good thing. Well, I think that's a problem if you're a politician. I see. Isn't um, it? Wouldn't stick to the party line? No, maybe not. Um, what's your greatest achievement inside dogs? Um, I, I think. It's a difficult one, really, because the natural reaction is to say, Going best to show across with Ricky. Mm. You know, there's been some moments that, you know, my Afghan bitch, that I had some amazing moments with her, that I actually, because I had a very special relationship with yeah. her. So, on one hand, there's Crofts and how proud I was of breeding a dog like that and chasing the whole thing. And on the other hand, like my probably my favourite dog I've ever owned was Riot the Afghan, and I had some magical moments, some you know a few best of shows with her that were yeah. that will remain forever in my heart. Um, I what, have one, you know. <laughs> uh, what about outside of dogs? What would you consider your greatest achievement? Um, oh God, it's quite a difficult one. I'll tell you what, that my probably my best achievement is that I have friends not in the dog game. That I've had since I was a kid, and I'm in my early 50s now. So I think that that's a good thing. That, you know, you can maintain something, you know, for over yeah. decades. Um, what about if you could own a breed other than the ones you already own, and that list is quite long anyway? Uh, what breed okay, would you like to own? I, I know this, Bracos. And why is that? Because I love big open side gates, and you don't get bigger open <laughs> side gates no. than the best Bracos. Yeah. So. Um, and what about if you could award an ultimate best in show to a dog of any place or any time, who would it be? Well, if I said um, a British dog, it would have been Scarf Michael. And overall, there was, I don't even know the name of it, but about two or three years ago, there was a red Doberman, won the group at Westminster with a, a great handler called Marissa. That was a second-generation Doberman handler. She was a big girl, light on her feet. The rapport between the two was extraordinary. The bitch was sensational. The ringside for Best of Show <laughs> went mad, including me. And she didn't prevail, but she should have done. Yes. I absolutely loved her. I loved the whole package. This fabulous red Doberman and this fabulous handler. The whole thing was amazing, really and amazing. as you're judging Best in Show this weekend, who's your favourite judge of all time? Um, Di Johnson. She's sitting down there. Might well, be in earshot. She shot. can't actually hear me, so <laughs> I could have said anybody. But, 
you know, I've got a funny story about Di. She'd kill me for telling you this. So I win the puppy stakes, the puppy dog stakes with the donkey's year under her, donkey's years ago, with I think it was an American cocker. And a girl called Judy Franks won the puppy bitch stakes. She showed Lars's and Shih Tzu's. I think it was a Larsa. So when we went into challenge for best puppy on the day, we went back on the table. And when I put my puppy on the table, Di said to me, now my dear, when, you, when, you, when we finished your triangle and you stand over there, make a particular note of the movement, particularly the rear movement of the Larsa, <laughs> and you'll understand why it's going to beat you. <laughs> and I thought it was great, because it was just honest. She, she was making, I mean, she was being slightly outrageous. And it was, you know, you couldn't be upset about it because no. I watched this thing go around the ring and it looked like a million dollars and certainly it had amazing, amazing movement. So, and it beat me. Well, thank you very much. Pleasure. Best of luck for Sunday night. Thank you very much.